This is such a great project that begins with some easy to find Dollar Tree items. Using a hot glue gun, apply a generous amount of hot glue to the tray and stick a piece of styrofoam down onto the tray. After your styrofoam is secured to the tray, you can open up your trees. Take out your tree and fluff the branches. You want to keep one side of the tree rather flat and fluff up the branches toward the other side. Next, you're going to take the first tree and stick it into the side of the styrofoam. You can add a little bit of hot glue around where the trunk of the tree enters the styrofoam. Now, set this aside. You're going to open up the third and the fourth trees and use a pair of wire cutters to cut off each of the little branches from the trunks of those trees. When you have finished cutting all of the little branches off, you can bring your silver tray with the first two trees back and begin building up your centerpiece with those branches. The branches from the trees are on wires stiff enough that they will poke right down into the styrofoam securely. Arrange the branches in the, styro in the styrofoam in a shape that fills in the space between the two trees on the end. Now is where you get to have some fun and personalize your centerpiece. I found these cute little gold bird nests with gold eggs in them and some red and gold sparkly poinsettias to use. Just cut the wires of whatever pitch you choose to add to your centerpiece and stick the wires down into the foam to secure them. I used just a little bit of this red and gold ribbon cutting short pieces and folding it into loops. Secure each loop with a piece of floral wire and stick the wire into the foam. For the ends of the centerpiece, I cut a long piece and again wrapped a piece of floral wire around the end to secure it into the foam, and I had a ribbon tail at each end. Finish off your arrangement by adding some Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments wherever you want a little more color. There you have it, a beautiful holiday centerpiece that no one would guess began as Dollar Tree Christmas trees. I hope this has inspired you to try and make your own Dollar Tree Christmas tree centerpiece this season. To start this project, I'm beginning with the Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And the first step is to disassemble the tree entirely. That includes unwinding the string, taking the base, and then t removing all the branches and setting those aside. I am gonna save the string for future projects and I recommend you do the same. Now that the tree is completely disassembled, I'm going to be using three of the 15 foot garlands from Dollar Tree for this project. I am using the white branches from the original tree to measure out multiple branches at the same length from my garland. And there are three different lengths for this tree. For this step, take twine from the Dollar Tree and three of the branches to combine them into a fork type shape. These are going to be the new branches for the tree and I want them to look more realistic. I'm gonna go through every single branch and put them together into a bundle until I am out of branches. Now that my branches are bundled together, I'm moving on to the next step of mixing together a combination of flocking powder and fake snow in a container. I got both of these supplies from Amazon. You don't necessarily need both, but I wanted to try both to give it more dimension. So I recommend doing whatever works for your budget. I wanted each branch end to look more realistic, so I'm trimming the tips of the branches to give them more of an organic shape so they're a little more rounded. I'm also bending the branches slightly downward so they look realistic when we add our flocking powder and snow mixture. Once the branch is completely covered, dip or coat the branch in the flocking powder. I do recommend wearing a mask for extra precaution on this step, just so you're not inhaling the flocking powder. And you're gonna repeat this step many, many, many more times. And you're gonna to wanna to let the branches dry overnight in a space where they won't be disturbed. Take the original metal rod that was part of the original tree, some twine and a few loose branches to create a bundle for the top of the tree. Next, you're gonna start adding the smallest branch bundles. I'm simply adding to the bundle, wrapping with my twine around that metal rod and continuing the process all the way down the metal rod until I run out of branch bundles. Secure the bottom of the twine with a little hot glue and a, a couple of knots to make sure it stays in place. Use a popsicle stick. I got mine at Dollar Tree. 
Cut it in half to hot glue it to the base of the tree. From there, take a plastic bowl. I got a little plastic appetizer bowl from Dollar Tree. They came in a set of four. And I'm going to flip it upside down and hot glue the popsicle stick to the bottom part of the cup. Using a Dollar Tree bowl, once that's all dried, I glued the base of the cup to the bottom of the bowl. Take a container like a Solo cup and a paint stir stick and mix together plaster of Paris with water as directed on the package. For me, I used a two to one ratio, two being the plaster of Paris, one being the water. And you're gonna pour the mixture once you've mixed it all together and you wanna make sure you're doing this quickly because this has a tendency to harden pretty quickly and give it plenty of time to completely harden all the way through and dry. Take a couple pieces of burlap and lay them flat under the bowl of the tree base. Gather and wrap the burlap around the base to cover the bowl completely. Using a piece of rope from Dollar Tree, I got the jute rope, uh, wrap it around to secure the burlap and tie it in a bow and then trim the excess burlap around the top. I hope this inspired you to try this DIY Dollar Tree Farmhouse Christmas Tree Project. I headed out shopping for this project and picked up some of these silver aluminum cupcake liners and finished off my shopping trip with two packages of shower curtain rings from Dollar Tree. I opened up my shower curtain rings and painted them with silver metallic paint. After the paint is dry on the rings, it's time to start assembling everything. Take each of the shower curtain rings and use a pair of wire cutters to simply cut each of the rings where they hook together. You'll need them to kind of curve around. While I was at Dollar Tree, I picked up some of this foam mounting tape. It comes in little squares. You will need this or something similar to this to attach your balloons to the tabletop or to one another to keep them from falling over. You're gonna take your cupcake liners and glue the shower curtain rings to the top of them with low temp hot glue. Although I plan to use some greenery as part of the centerpiece, using a paper runner will make it easy to stick your balloons down and keep them upright. Now it's time to put your inflated balloons on your garland and on your paper runner. You can use the mounting tape squares to secure the balloons to the paper and to each other to style your centerpiece. Arrange your balloon ornaments however you'd like and add the cupcake liner and shower ring tops to the top of each balloon to make your cute oversized Christmas ornament centerpiece. Again, making sure you use low temp hot glue and stick it down on top of your inflated balloon. I hope this inspires you to design your own balloon ornament table for the holidays. This is actually perfect for the kids table for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.